Now there are a few different ways to delete automation within a track. When you delete automation, you can really just go into wherever the automation is and really just highlight it and delete it. But sometimes you might actually catch automation that you can't really see and you might not know is there. So one way to definitely be sure is definitely delete the waveform. When you delete the waveform, it's going to take the automation with it. Like on this one, you can actually see that within the volume, there's a little bit of automation in there. I mean, there's different ways you can actually take it and fix it, do different things like that, or just go to the main waveform view. and just delete it. Now for sure the actual automation is going to be gone. Oh. Now it is. Now when you um, are using automation for different things you might be able to take a, tr a part of a track and duplicate it. When you duplicate it, it's automatically going to bring the automation with it. So if you don't want the automation, you might want to be able to like go back to the original track and just delete it to whatever it is. If there's a volume issue and things like that, you want to actually go to that part, turn on the track, use the volume, and erase it.